My name is Ariel and I'm 30 years old. I'm David. I'm 35 years old. We're based in Louisville. And this is Financial Ad. Welcome down to Austin. So thanks for being here. I will start with you since you introduced yourself first. What do you do for a living? I um, do payment processing for an auto finance company. Uh, that's my first job. And then I just got a second job uh, yeah. for a com tech company. Um, basically, I guess, help out com- companies build their websites and, you know, change it around and stuff. Oh, interesting. Yeah. How many hours a week do you work right now? 80 <laughs> or more. Damn. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So how much how much money are you bringing in a month on average? Or what do you make with these two positions? About 40 each. $40,000 $40, each, so $80,000 before taxes? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Well, geez, you're working a lot. We'll see how sustainable that is, and we'll go into why here in a bit. <laughs> yes. uh, spoiler alert, this is probably one of the thickest packets of paper I've ever had. Yeah, mine. it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Gonna get some high pitch. And action. what do you do? Well, I hope not. Now that I'm aware of it, I'm trying to prevent it, but... <laughs> yeah. Uh, and what's, what's your income um, job? So, my day job... Um, I work Amazon, uh, warehouse worker, I drive a forklift sure. and that one I get 17, 20 an hour. How many hours a week? Uh, about 39. I work flex, so I kind of choose my hours, but it's 39. Okay. That's what and I, that's said what 17 I 17 an for. hour? 17, 20. Okay. And then my second job. Ooh, is, and other second jobs. Yeah, Jeez. we were. Do you guys even see each other? Well, where uh well i'll i'll get to a little bit of okay. why that is but what's your um, second job my second job is i'm a domino's pizza delivery driver and okay. that's full time i work pretty much about 40 hours a week and what do you make on average with that because i know tips and everything yeah so, on so uh wage is yeah it's it's hard to say that because like when i'm on the road i get a lower wage when i'm in store i get a higher yeah. wage so my check is usually about 260 bi-weekly bi-weekly and then how much do you bring in over those two weeks in tips so it does it does change from week to week but i will say comfortably i can say about 600 a week but it could it's usually higher than that but that that's kind of like rock bottom that's what i can rely on so we have about uh, 1450 from that position let me do the math on your amazon 17.39 times 39 times 52 divided by 12, 2,900. And then also I donate plasma twice a week. And that's... Twice a week? Jeez, I'd be passing out twice a week. I've been doing it for for 10 years, though. (laughs) Good for you. So, uh, and that is roughly right now, it does change from month to month. It's about, I would say, 120. It's 140 this month. Each session? 120. No, that's a, a, a week. 120 a week? Yeah, because like the first donation is the lesser one, and then it's like the big fee is like on the second donation. Whew. All right, so 4868 month from you. This is, I mean, this is already just... Wow, and you guys are married. How long have you been married? A year. And one year? Two months. Two months. Any kids? No kids yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay, so why the are you guys working so much? What is happening? Uh, so we're we're here on your show, but we actually kind of had our a little bit of our wake up moment of the depth we were in as far as debt just kind of being a little out of control. Mm. Um, and so we already kind of started our journey of trying to get this debt down. I've already paid off three cards. Good. Um, and kind of close to the end of of like my side. And then we're going to be tackling her stuff. But so I had been working two jobs to do that. And then she just kind of got her second job. Okay. And what's up ago. with your side? Same Into thing. The mic and- oh, sorry. Okay. Same thing. Um I know I have a, a lot of debt, um, credit cards, student yes. loans, auto payment, you know, so. So why are you guys in so much debt? Why are you in so much debt? We'll start, because you definitely have, like, the thickest portion of this pile by far. Honestly, I mean, it's just irresponsibility. I mean, we did have a wedding that we had, so, you know, we. How much did you guys spend on the wedding? 
It was a Good. destination wedding, so I mean, it was about twenty thousand. So I mean, it was it wasn't as bad. Could you guys afford the wedding? No. Nah. <laughs> was it all debt? Realistically, no. Yeah, we didn't yeah. save up for it like we should have. So, are you guys completely on the same page when it comes to personal finances? For the most part. Translation, but. not really. <laughs> okay, but, well, what he yeah, wants to, to do degree. is like more so. He wants to, you know, go mole and go to. Go, in a hole and just struggle and wait what <laughs> go mole in a hole what's mole in a hole <laughs> like he just wants to bury himself and like you know not do anything with his life but work and pay off debt and then me on the other mm. hand i don't want to i don't know i don't want to just not she have wants a life. her pain to be spread out for decades. why do you want to experience <laughs> pain longer instead of uh temporary you know, I mean, the thing is, I don't mind the temporariness, but like six months is like my cap. I don't want to do a whole year. So I don't know. I just I don't want to struggle for. I mean, I don't I don't want to like. Well, how much is in your retirement right now? <laughs> Not much. Then you're completely struggling already. Yeah. but Then there's then there's nothing else. There's nothing else. If you just turn 30, uh, best decade of your life for compound growth is done. Then you're just going to be constantly struggling until you decide, okay, I'm done and I want to get out of this, mm-hmm. which is in your retirement. So um, I didn't have it in the, I couldn't find a statement that would like accurate, but right now it's about a thousand twelve, a uh, thousand two hundred. So that terrifies like me at thirty five. Yeah, halfway through your thirties and there's a thousand and nothing. I have a little bit. I have a couple hundred. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just said a thousand. Like, how are you? hey, you're older than me, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. So, your biggest disagreement is just on how hard to work at this point. Yeah, I feel like we both have two jobs. You're working eighty hours a week. Yeah. So, is it the cutting back on things that's a struggle? Yeah, because I'm like, I'm already working two jobs. I'm barely have a life as it is. I will, on my days off, I want to be able to enjoy. Well, a little you know, bit of the you'd money be working. Making. You'd be working two jobs longer. I is mean, that what you want to do? If you spend a few hours of the pay every single day to go do something, then you're working a second job longer. And you need to. We haven't even touched the personal finances of this yet, but that's that's my theory. Yeah. Is that worth it to you? I can be happy now. <laughs> well, so you're for the instant gratification. More, okay. so, yeah, definitely. Me, I want to do the most I can do to get all this debt completely out of our life because what you've just exposed is we are horribly behind. Very incredibly terrifying in and my mind. I just I want to just do the most that we can to uh, catch up, which I I believe we can. Well, you can, and we'll definitely talk a game plan to get there. Okay, so that's why we're here. <laughs> um, there's some accounts where we didn't know who it belonged to. Maybe it's joint, and then there's some accounts that are definitely in each other's names. When it comes to personal finances, how combined are we so far? I think for the most part, we split our um, house bills 50-50. So, so you're splitting things instead of having a combined monthly pile and then budgeting based on a household mm-hmm. combined monthly pile? We've thought about doing that. That's why we opened the joint account, but yeah. it just never, you know, we never got around to actually putting money in there except for mm-hmm. our savings. Yeah, we haven't uh, completely combined our incomes and all that. Yeah. Okay. What has taken you so long? Because if we're not on the same page in general, it's okay if there's a couple disagreements and hopefully we can come to kind of a good place by the end of this. What if we're not on the same page? If we can't even have our money I th- in a pile, I'm a little nervous. I think uh, a probably a big part of it was the wedding expenses that we had. Um, we agreed to Why pay 50-50. Why did you guys 50, decide 50? to do that? Do what? That's a destination? Good this is such an expensive, stupid wedding. When both of you didn't have money, you had negative money. Why did you decide to do it? Well, we actually tried to go the cheaper route. Because oh, off. Cheaper route is going to the courthouse. Well, we didn't want to do that. I mean, we okay, have. Okay, so you didn't want to go the that, cheaper route. Well, we went to the next cheaper route. No, it wasn't. <laughs> the next cheaper route's the church on the corner. Well, okay. 
Like we had people a while back. We had know. a lot of people that, you know, we wanted to invite and wanted to come, but we didn't want to, you know, pay for every because you know, basically Wait, a did wedding. Did you go to them? Did we go to where? Did you go to where they were? No, we went out Okay, and about, so they so then, they were going to go wherever anyway. So why did it matter? No. If they didn't come to you. N- you didn't you didn't not listen. So okay, okay. we wanted to invite everybody that you know we could invite, but you know, if you have a destination wedding, not everybody will be able to come. Mm-hmm. And you know, you have to pay for, you know, certain people's food and everything like that. So with a destination wedding, you won't have that many people come, so you won't be spending as much, and then you combine the wedding and the honeymoon together. Oh, sorry. And then you combine the honeymoon and the wedding together, so... You didn't need to go on a honeymoon. You didn't need to. I want you to. Did we need to? No. Did we need to even have a ceremony at this point? No. Maybe we do the cheap route now. This already happened, so I'm not going to bag on you too much, but just for people who are considering it out there, if you wanted to tie it up, tie up the knot now, have a ceremony later. That's a good way to do it. That's what a lot of people do. Because, I mean, what matters more? That instant wedding or the remaining decades of your life together? I choose the remaining decades of your life together. What's your household couple's financial score? I'll let each of you guess. Zero to ten. You know, where do you think you guys are? I'll start with you. Where do you think you are? Zero to ten as a household financially. Probably a zero. <laughs> One or two. Like, very low. Okay. Yeah, I would, uh, I would agree. Um, maybe on the generous side of things, maybe like our recent activity would maybe garner a one, but I, I doubt it. Okay. Yeah. Zero. Okay. So we have a 2019 Toyota Highlander. Yeah. Who drives this one? That's, that's technically my car. I drive it, but that's his car. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we owe forty four thousand three hundred thirty two. That was the initial. Uh, yeah, the initial. Oh, that was the amount financed. Yeah. Why does it not? Does it have the? Uh, What's left on this now? Um, I just made a payment. It's like thirty one. Is, is this it? Yeah. Right oh, now it's thirty one thousand and some. Okay. Hundred. Oh yeah, right there. Right, yeah. Okay, thirty one thousand. We have a minimum monthly payment. Of seven hundred twenty-five dollars and twelve cents. So essentially, you guys decided to get a car. That was my. That was my. Student. You decided to get a car because you thought working two jobs was fun, and uh, it's so fun that you just needed to do it in order to get this car. Um, to kind of. This is a second job car right here. Is what this is. Actually, at that time when you know, I got it, it, it was uh, it was at a time when I actually had. You're gonna hate me for this, but I, I actually hate. I actually paid off all our debt besides her student loans. What? The car. That's that's not true. There is so much no, debt no, no, here. That, Are you that, saying all this debt came? That, that was after. That came after. All the debt is recent. Like within the last year, you guys got into all this that we're see- that is in this pile was from the last year. Not the last year. Maybe two. Even years. still, two yeah. years? Minus the car. Minus the car. Well, my car. Um, oh, okay. Uh, it's 5.4%, 5.46%. It's not the worst interest rate in the world by any means. Taking into account depreciation and everything, it's closer to like 8, 9, but whatever. Uh, that's still so much, and the minimum monthly payment's insane for you. Where? What's the. What's the. Uh, how many months is this? Uh, I believe it was a five year. Ugh. Now, with this car, I am wanting to sell it. I just well, look don't at the know value how. then, because I think it's at the point now where it's not upside down. Good, jeez. Because I, I I've been if, paying on it forever. If uh, money if you don't you, have, if you were me and you were going to sell the car, how would? you go about it we'll, we'll get no, into that yeah that'll get into the solution part of the conversation but right now okay. we got to go through this pile of death so this this one okay this one's not crazy we have a credit card uh ten dollars 81 cents is what's owed on it because you pretty much pay this one off yeah pay that one off it's okay. zero now who manages this one me this is you okay some google storage youtube premium the rest 
like some insurances, energy bill, stuff like that. Oh, no, that's his then. Oh, then that is mine. Oh, okay. That's my, that's the bill card. Only bills goes on that. Now, would you guys define yourself as credit card people? Because there's credit cards in here that are like, few credit cards. In, in, in the future, yes. Uh, not now? Not now. I got all those credit cards because I was taught that, you know, um, I guess if you have higher, I mean, cards with higher limits on it, you have, I, I don't remember like the technical term for it, but I heard it's supposed to be better for your credit. You know, you have a higher spending limit or something like that. Well, it's, yeah, because then you can, your utilization will be yeah, less that, is what yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah. But I think for a lot of people who are not credit card people, and at this point, I wouldn't define you right as a credit now, card person. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a higher limit doesn't help. This is why I always, and I'm going to talk about them again as I always do, but this is why I like the Fizz card because it at least works like a debit card where you swipe it and immediately gets paid off and that will build your credit score if that's what you care about. Mm -hmm. But this is just, you know, this is crazy. Now, FNBO Visa card, something. That is that's specific. Mine. And well, actually, no, to be fair, that's both of ours because that's Aaron's. My friends, um, he was the best man in the wedding, and we paid for his, uh, well, the credit card paid for his wedding. What the f***? $3,475? So you took out this just so your best... This was the destination wedding really the second cheapest option? I'm really not thinking so. Was that all that was on my card? Yeah. $70 payment, which is the minimum monthly payment. So we're just making minimum monthly payments. Now, this is 0%, but 0% until when? I don't know. I need to call and see. Oh, come on. But it's so low. Like, I, we can definitely get that paid off. $3,000 is so low? Well. <laughs> $3,000 is a lot of money. $3,000 is a lot of money. Up. and that's, that's as much as you bring home from one of your jobs a month. That's just why you're working second. Maybe it feels like less because you guys are going insane with how much you're working because you never see each other. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a fee to open it, like 75 bucks. Quicksilver card. This is another one that's paid off. This is from you. Audible, Disney, Audible. I love my books. I like to read. And your Disney? And Disney is kind that of. That was mine. And I uh, told I told her that, uh, look, I'm going to be canceling the Disney Plus. Good. And she wanted it for Hulu because it comes with the package. So she took that on. And him and his, him and my mom. Him and my mother-in-law, we both split it, so I'm only paying half of that, so. Oh. Uh, you know, it's a free subscription when you hit that subscribe button. And we're trying to get the 750,000 subscribers. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. I love you all so much. Okay, but there has been interest charged on this card this year, so you're not always paying for it on time. 14 bucks of interest you lost this year. I did. Mm-hmm. Oops. Not credit card people capital one quicksilver this is also yours all those capital one cards i have paid off so they're all zero balances now this one's gone all of them yes oh so this was 615 and it's gone you were losing 12 dollars of interest on it yeah sure good yeah. <laughs> like i i've, I've you spent paid 250 off bucks and this is more youtube premium that seems to come up a lot some google subscription google storage spotify so you guys are on that subscription lifestyle. Yeah, we both have a YouTube uh, subscription. I yeah. still have mine. So the Capital One Walmart card is also paid off? Yep. Wow, good job. So you paid off $626. So this is the second job coming in. Yep. Yeah, very good. Pat on the back, well-deserved. $200 of purchases on here, and they're all Walmart, which makes sense because it's a Walmart card. Is every single thing that we're spending, the the $200 of Walmart, are they all necessities? Because Walmart's a mixed bag. You never know. It, not always. Most of the time it's groceries, but it's not always. Um, if it's not, it's like, a, you know, hygiene care stuff or. I mean, basically groceries. Well, yeah. speaking of that, how's the budgeting going right now? How are you guys budgeting? We haven't really. All right. So it's with budgeting, um, I have done I've done a budget in the past, but when we got into the debt um the debt busting phase i it was i was very simple with it i pretty much limited my groceries to 300 and gas comes out of my uh mileage pay from domino's and it's actually a little bit more than what i uh they adjust that though right yeah because they pay it based on the miles and not like and the car actually. too right potentially 
Just a quick shout out from today's video sponsor, Monzo. Monzo is a money management app that helps you see, save, and spend your money with confidence. Sign up for free by using my link today at monzo.com forward slash us forward slash Caleb or by using the link in the description below. Thanks again to Monzo for sponsoring today's episode. At Jimmy John's, when I did it, they paid on the car as well. Yeah, we got mileage paid. So any gas that I personally use, because I mean, we don't go anywhere um, at all. So Except to work. Yeah, I mean, you guys are both work. working 80 bu- hours a week. And she's actually a remote worker. Both jobs are remote. She's at home. Really? Yeah. Oh, very cool. Do um, they overlap ever? Yes, uh, just for an hour, though. Oh, okay. Do they know? One of them does. The other one doesn't. Well, kind of. I okay. mean, my boss knows. Both of my bosses oh, know. Oh, well, that, that's job fine. Job no. don't. <laughs> now, this is yours. The Navy Federal. Is that paid off? Uh, Navy Federal is not. Okay. No. We have 11. Oh, eight, um, the 500 one is, so oh, the, huh? the, the, I have three uh, Navy Federal cards oh. and the $500 one is paid off. Okay. Well, this one's 11,715. Yeah, that one is definitely not. <laughs> How do you get into this much, dude? This one's huge. Okay. So the, what happened with that one is I tried to get into e-commerce mm. and I took a course <gasps> and it was just draining all of my juice so what kind of course like i'm totally good with different certification things like course careers i always talk about them and stuff but what was this so you know they tell you about their journey and everything Mm -hmm. and then it's like an actual like um digital course that you go through like they have videos that they do step by step of what they do and then you know they tell you what apps to download to your spotify store and then oh, they have oh, okay no. and then so that was the first part yeah. and then the second part it was like a speed course because you know I, I didn't go through the first course very well oh sorry i didn't go through the first course very well so then they had like a speed course that was supposed to be more intimate and yeah. then like one-on-one based so that was another five thousand. Oh, yeah. another five thousand. <laughs> What? I wouldn't be laughing at I it. Know. I know. I'm laughing because Cope I'm laugh. embarrassed Cope at laugh, how yeah. stupid I was. And I, I, I well, thought we, by we taking... Were, I mean, well, it was in the interest of trying to better our financial situation. I get that, but we got to do things but, with like good reputations and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, again, I talk about course careers, but it's because they have a good reputation. I see people, I've met people who have made money off of the, you know, have gotten better jobs based off of getting certified and stuff like that. That's good, but right. this thing, and right. that's so expensive. But this, this is always what gets to me here. So we have 11714 that started, and this is accruing $106 on a monthly basis. $220? Paid. Good. Minimum monthly payment. Fantastic. But then $115.44 of purchases. What's the point of purchasing on a card if we can't pay? We can't even come close to paying this off. We're just making the minimum monthly payment. The minimum monthly payment is very expensive. Why are you putting money on a card that's accruing $106 of interest? What's the logic possibly? Well, because I wanted all the business expenses to be on one card. Oh. And so, you know, PayPal, they charge you every day. I mean, every month. I mean, Canva, they charge you every month. Like, Yeah, Canva, Shopify, Shopify. I wanted to keep it all on uh-huh. one card. Business checking. I, don't, I didn't know anything about that. <laughs> I know. Well, now you do. $517 has been lost this year. Has this been squeezed from you? You're working a second job and $517.40 has been squeezed from you just from a single one of these debts. Yeah. And yet we still have our payments on it, our subscriptions on it. Navy Federal Credit Union. Is this one that's paid off the 539? Yeah. Good. There was no purchase made on that. There were interest loss, but that's okay. And then we have another Navy Federal Credit Union. Is this one yours as well? Yes. Okay. So this one is sitting at 3000 That one's for my every purchase well we shouldn't be purchasing I know, I know. right <laughs> well why are you what do you mean the lack the goal, of it and then just the goal was to make purchase you know and then pay it off and then you know it just kind of got well why are we still doing it because you had 2912 we made progress because you did a 160 dollar payment on it then you purchased 544 dollars if what you just admitted. You just admitted. Why are we possibly putting five, almost $550 on it when we're losing $37.12 in interest on this? We can't even come close to paying it off. Why are we purchasing on it? I, need to, I just need to get to the logic. I know I'm digging in, but I need to get to the logic. And you and everyone else out there needs to know how bad that is, how stupid that is. 
Well, my logic was if I... Is, is, because this is a recent statement. Your logic is... Well, is. I mean, up until you just told me it was not. So <laughs> it is. it was my logic because I just felt like if I... Like I said before, like I thought if I make a purchase, I could pay it off. But you weren't. So why'd you continue? Because it, I don't know. I guess I was just trying to, you know... I really don't know. And also, this is a you card. It's not even things you need. This is high half price books. And I love books, but you do not need them right now. You can go to the library in Sprouts Farmer's Market. That's an expensive way to get food. American Beauty Avenue. Do we absolutely need that to survive? I don't think so. Scentbird, especially when you work from home. I don't care if you look like you just woke up that was an from accident. like a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> and Atira and Alta. Yeah, we need to be doing $45 at Alta to do work from home jobs. And she in uh, whatever. Natera $20. is a health Bill, now, uh, I, I will never. Oh, OK. Really? Yeah. OK, well, that's fine. I will never shame or anything for anyone wanting to look good or just do your own thing. That's fine. But when when we're in debt, when we are in death debt, when we are trying to get it out of it and survive, I can't help but say that's not a necessity to survival when you have no retirement. Neither of you have any retirement. We're not even close to out of the bad debt. Do we need to be getting Alta? I don't even know. I don't even remember what that was for, to be honest. Well, we went to a couple different places, right? Yeah. Do we need to be doing any of that? No. Okay. Why do you think you are? Is it a cope? Is this a, this is what's getting us through the 80 hours a week thing? Uh, yeah. I mean, those particular things, no, but Amazon, yeah. You, I know you're going to think about that. <laughs> Well, why are you doing it? You laugh about it. Why do the Amazon? It makes me happy. Okay. Does working the jobs that you're working now for an extra year make you happy? Mm -hmm. Just because we decided to give Bezos some money? I mean, no, but I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm able to get the things that I want, you know, temporarily. <laughs> All right. And then what is this? Is Discover card? Did you pay this one off? That's mine. That's you? Um, there is... It's an interesting situation. There's two um, separate sections of this debt. Uh, oh, one geez. not accruing interest and the other one that does. I paid off the one that does. What's uh, the balance now um, on this? It's, if you look on the second page, whatever is left is going to be what it is. Right the there. big number? Yeah, mm. the big number. $6,000 essentially. And it's not a current interest for how long? Um, that one is going to end September 4th. Okay, well, that's like now. Yeah. So that's like $120 minimum monthly payment. And it's going to be what, like 20, 30% interest? Yeah, 30 probably based on what the other one was. Yeah. What was it? What possibly was it? That That's, uh, I believe that was part of the wedding debt. And here's your Amazon $1,000 retirement fund. Okay. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Guys, oh, let this be a lesson to anyone out there. Because you weren't, other than your student loan debt, you weren't necessarily coming into this marriage with a bunch of debt. And you just decided, like, okay, what I want to do for our first year and second year of marriage is we're going to have an expensive wedding that we can't afford so that we can go work 80 hours a week and never see each other for the first two years of marriage. That was the choice we made. Yeah, we spiraled. Don't make that choice. Would you do it again? Simple. Would you do it again? Hell no. What would you do instead? We'll use that money to buy a house. Go to the church down the street <laughs> now. <laughs> or have a backyard wedding or something. So I think this is your checking account. $775 in there with $5 in a savings account. We zelled you 637 So that's how we're paying bills right now? Yeah. Yeah, we'll divide it in half. Um... And then she just sends me her portion. Oh, actually, and before we get into this, the student loan debt, what does it total? Because it's like so many separate ones, and I just did not feel like adding that up. Yeah. Uh, yeah I don't know. Um, I believe it was 50. Yeah, maybe yeah. 40, 50K. I thought you said 15, and then you said 40, 50. <laughs> no, no, 50. Sorry, 5, 0. 40, 50. K. Oh, maybe we'll add it up. All right. We'll come back to that. This is also yours. This is another checking joint. Oh, joint. Or is it? 
395 in here. And another 20. And an, oh, that must be mine. My, uh, all my weird. Secondary share. Yeah. That's okay. fine. Then you have a capital one. You have a lot of checking accounts. 438 in there. What's hiatus? Hiatus is, uh, it was one of those bill companies that kind of like, you put all your bills into it, and then like if they want to negotiate, oh sorry, they can negotiate your uh, bills for you okay. and stuff. I didn't know I was paying ten dollars for that until I printed out my statements, and I was like, oh. Well, those can be good if you manage it correctly. Yeah, but they aren't helping me yet, so I need. Yeah, this is yours. Once well, the Amazon company, by the way, you're just essentially paying him to do his job. <laughs> paying who to do what? With all the Amazon you're purchasing, you're just. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> His job exists because of you. Yeah. Three thousand dollars in checking, eight hundred five dollars in the three sixty checking. What's the interest you're getting on that eight oh five? Um that I don't know as far as the interest accruing, I'm not sure. Probably nothing. Nothing. Well, I mean, it's not so fi. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that's yeah. I mean that's just the one I personally use, four point four percent interest. Petty affiliate link in the description below, but then you went to <laughs> Aid Haven Cafe, some Palace Nail Spot, Starbucks. So, yeah, it those were. No, 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 no. I'll, uh, we can shift it over this way. Um, no, the Egg Cafe that I took my my father out uh, for Father's Day, the Palace Nail. Um, I had just recently had an ingrown toenail situation, mm. and I just didn't want to touch my feet, so I had them do it. Um, because I, I just didn't know how it should be cut. I didn't want to go through that again. Okay. Starbucks, that was just a one-time mm -hmm. thing. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, she can tell you, I don't spend money on any. And you shouldn't. Jesus. And then we have 520 in a Texas trust. That was our $1,000 Dave Ramsey emergency fund. and I had So to, was that the plan you guys were going to do? Yeah. I think it's a relatively chill plan for you guys. So go hold, yep, go ahead and pull that up. I'm going to add it for student loans. Okay. Guys, I'm seeing about sixty-one thousand. Hmm? Seeing about sixty-one thousand dollars of student loans. Uh, do you want to see it off of my phone, the Amazon card? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Oh, not the card. Pull up your Amazon. Well, wait, is uh, that owed on there? That's the statement. Yeah, this is the statement. Oh, okay, let's see. I don't know why that didn't go through. There is that on here, and it's accruing interest. Thought I was done having to dig in. Thought we were going to go to the more hopeful part of the episode. I know. Okay, so we have... We have the Bezos card... Like I said, it makes me 1400 Does $7.86 in interest being charged and $39 of fees being charged make you happy? Does that bring a smile to your face? It brings a frown to mine. $411 of payments. Okay, that's great. But then $365 of purchases. And then after the fees and interest, what's the point? We ended with... we. <laughs> the statement was a dollar more than it started. So you made no progress. You made no progress. I have no What's the point of working 40 hours a week if we're not even making pro 80 hours a week if we're not even making progress, huh? I mean, the pro uh, I got I get paid today. So I was actually going to put all, if not most of that, onto there. Lovely. And then you're going to go spend it again well, on here? That's what you did before. Sorry, I don't want to be mean to you and then be nice to you. This isn't a thing, but you're the one doing this. I know. And I, I'm going to do better. Like, I. Okay. Well, we can't just say we're going to do better. What do you like? Why? Well, like, like I'm going to actually set a budget for myself to spend each month instead of just ragging, ragging, ragging. And it feel like should you even be doing this if there's a balance on here and we're accruing interest? Should we even be doing this at all? No, I shouldn't. But okay, then stop. Right? It's easier said than done. It's easier said than done, but also just do it because you don't want to just over for your future. Please don't tell me that I care about your future more than you do. I I care about my future. Okay, then care about your future and show it with actions. Well, I care about my future by buying stuff. You for care it. about you right now. <laughs> you care about your life right now. You care about your life right now more than you care about your future, and this is demonstrating it. Correct? Do you disagree? Well, yeah, but 
The things that I buy are for my future. Let's see. What do you mean? Pull up your Amazon app. No. <laughs> well, there we go. I think that tells us it, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're right. Yeah. And I personally don't find it funny. And there was a... Uh... Okay. All right. No, I mean, I'll be... I was digging... I was digging into you because you need to know how bad the situation is because you don't seem to understand it. And then everyone out there who's really into your situation, they need to understand how bad it is. But this is actually going to piss me off. You think it's okay to go do this? You had a $39 late fee. You didn't even pay your bill. And you're doing this. You're f***ing yourself over. And I feel gross when I am the one who cares about your future more than you if you're not even paying your bill. I and yet, paid it. I just didn't pay it on time because I forgot about it. And I, I thought how is there not an automatic I payment on I there? I had automatic payments on there, but apparently not. So I got it on there now. Amazon, 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 Kindle, Amazon, 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 Amazon. I mean, that's Amazon. Amazon, card, Amazon. So I know, but this is a lot of Amazon purchases. A lot of it is like supplements, and you know, prove it. Say. I mean. Even if they are all supplements, you decided that the supplements are worth uh, taking out a 28% loan on it. 28% interest loan. That's what was decided. Yeah. And I wish your husband also did something so I could equally dig into him. I promise I'm not just bullying you. Oh, no. I, I already knew it was coming. I, I know. I know. And like I said, I, I just I have to do better. Yes, you do, but... Words are words. I just, I just wish there were actions. Okay. I mean, I can only advise what to do. All right, let's take a look. Also, student loans, by the way. Oh yeah, I guess I need to add, bring that up too. Sixty-one thousand four hundred forty-five. You found that? Mm -hmm. Where'd you get that? No, that's what he oh. Does that sound right? Some rough math. I didn't realize it was that much. Is that included? Like, are you able to pull up the total? Everything? Yeah. Maybe you can pull. Well, let me see the Amazon first. Okie dokie. Don't look at the first three items. That was gifts to. Should we really be buying gifts? You should gift yourself getting out of debt first. I know. Gift, gift, gift. An ultra sim keyboard. Your keyboard didn't work. Work couldn't provide it. Round ice cube trays because we need round ice because round ice is more important than getting out of debt, to be very clear. Oh, another wireless mouse and keyboard. Double wireless mouse and keyboard. I have okay. three computers that I work from. Well, stop. Use one and connect them to all of them, dude. Usually, most wireless keyboards have like three Bluetooth switches in it anyway. I didn't know that. Tool monitor stand. Didn't need it, but I understand the desire behind it. Jigsaw puzzle glue. Did not need it. Sensor oil roller bottles. Did not need it. Pop Choice Microfiber Hair Towel. I'm going to just assume you already had a hair towel because I highly doubt you did not have a hair towel. I need a microfiber one because lint gets trapped in these. These are okay. locked, so I have to have that. High capacity alkaline. A poster frame. Oh, I wanted to hang my wanted. puzzle. Correct. Yeah. So the thing is, I like to do puzzles, and I have a puzzle board, and I finished a puzzle on that board. And I want you to finish getting out of debt. I know, I know, but I'm just telling I'm telling the reason behind why I bought that. I want to hang it up. That way okay. I can start doing puzzles You told again. me the reason. Now tell me, is that reason more important than getting out of debt? No, it's not. But like I said, I want to be able to enjoy at least some of the money that I make. Do you not understand that if you come out of this debt quicker, you'd be able to put a certain percent aside... For retirement and then future you because you got out of debt quicker would be able to enjoy the money years longer years longer and more money than just this temporary thing you're doing now clear, clear cases and phone grips and just both both, both different puzzles and crap all right go ahead and pull up your student loans let's see can you say something upsetting so i can verbally um, so I can get some equal treatment over here. <laughs> okay. Cause I'm feeling so very rude right I, now. I told you, um, I, I just wanted to stay out of it. I've <laughs> talked to her enough. I need somebody else to say something, but, uh, I did have three other cards that had bull on it. Had previous yeah. paid off. 
Yeah, I mean, I paid them off, but um, I, I think when the wedding came, just like you, I mean, just like you exposed, it, we, I, I think we spiraled both of us, and um, it's time to stop that, so that we can actually afford to do things. Yeah, because I like puzzles too. Okay. Yeah. So the thing, the thing I had on there was wrong. So that's okay. Student loans, we have fifty thousand seven hundred six dollars. Now I did look at the interest rate. Some of them were not great. Some of them were up like seven percent. Then there are some that were like four percent. So it's like four to seven percent. Yeah, and yeah, it was. Well, it depends on like the subsidized loan, unsubsidized loan, just the different ones that you have. You okay? Okay, I'm gonna guess these are gonna be about six hundred dollars a month ish. Yeah, probably so. Six hundred, six fifty, four. Yeah, the seven percent stuff sucks. That's not good because you're because like stock market on average has done eight percent. Yeah. So um, it's like at this point, we I know pay you've recommended um, paying it off minimum minimum payments depending on the rate throughout, depending on the rate uh and i wasn't sure because some of them they look okay but then some of them were like above so I, I don't know how that i didn't know works. you could pay them separately contact them and see what you're able to do because it can definitely be a little tricky depending on the institution because it used to be with fed loan and then there were lots of changes during the pandemic I have some low interest student loans that I refuse to pay early because it doesn't make any mathematical sense. And they got uh, transferred to somewhere else too. I think I think I actually might be with the same company you're with now actually. And these payments are about to start real quick. I said next year, June 2024. Mm-mm. Oh. I think what you're thinking of, no, payments are going to start in like a month or two. Uh, but... What there is, what they did announce was a thing where, like, you won't be punished if you don't make your payment, but, like, things will still overall... Oh, no, no, no. What? Ugh, I wish I looked into this more before this, but it's, like, wages won't be garnished, but interest will still accrue if you're not paying on it. Something like that. But they won't garnish you and come after mm. you. Uh, for like a year, there's like a, that extra year, but like you'll still get, like you're still f***ing yourself if you don't pay on it, essentially. Ooh, guys, your debt is huge. And your car is paid for? No. You have another car? I have a car, yeah. Yeah, was it? With a debt? Yeah. Oh, yeah, f I came into the car, I mean, came into the relationship with yeah, the car. Why did I not? Do you mind if I take this back? Mm-hmm. Well... I have about 16 or no, 15. Oh, I apologize. Hang on. So I guess I should add that, shan't I? Okie dokie. Car number two. Car number two. What is the balance? Uh, the balance is right now 16179 Minimum monthly payment? Uh, minimum monthly payment is. I just made a payment on there, so. 366 Yeah. Interest rate? Interest rate is 4.3. Okay. Nine. And repayment term, do you remember? 72. 72, classic. Okay, lovely. Ugh. All right, so we as a couple are sitting at $123,878 of debt, none of, it, none of which is a mortgage. And that's after you've made progress on debt. That's after you're both working 80 hours a week. So this is some rough right here but we're gonna get you guys to a better situation if we're willing to be on the same page and that's a big if based on this conversation so far but there there's some major changes that need to happen and some major major things in general did either of you go to college i didn't she did what'd you graduate with um a bachelor's of science in rehabilitation and uh, concentration of orientation mobility. Interesting. So you are not doing that position right now, are you? No, and I'm so mad. Do you want to be? Well, I did when I graduated, but I had to get 
pass the stupid test and then I failed and so they wanted me to take it again uh-huh. and then I you know was studying for it and I tried to get a job in the process and then they kept saying that you they want somebody with the experience of course I don't have the experience because I don't I've never had a job like this I just got the degree and it was just a total runaround you know don't have the experience so you can't get the job so I just kind of gave up but did you end up passing the test no, I didn't take it because I was like, I can't get a job. So what's going okay? On? <laughs> you can get a job. Uh, uh, what I recommend uh, some different YouTube videos and stuff like that on just interviewing and just improve your overall interview skills. Yes, places will oftentimes look for someone with experience more, but I bet during the time of this, you were in like the best job market ever, and I bet you could have found something. I'm not saying anyone should lie about their experience on a resume. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Um, do companies ever check Mm, Mm -hmm. but don't do that that would be terrible never do that never do that I I just want you to get a good job anymore though so I know oh but what would you make in that position that's what I'm curious about because right now you're making to make $80,000 a year you're working two jobs where I would like you to get into a job making $80,000 a year working 40 hours a week Yeah. yeah so how much would you have made in that position I don't know really I know uh okay what was the position called that you wanted to do? Orientation mobility specialist. Interesting. I don't even know that. Can you, uh, is that a part of physical therapy? It's funny because getting into it, that's what I kind of thought it was. But no, it's basically so if you're blind or visually impaired, oh. you teach them how to use their cane and be more, oh. uh, you know, independent and, you know, live independent lives. That's very cool. Mm-hmm. That's very cool. Um, or orientation orientation and mobility specialist yes and why did you lose the passion in this um top earners 104,000 a year now that's top earners uh it looks like okay I'm, the lowest is like 34,000 but that's like lowest it's probably what you would have ventured with the average goes to about 55,000 but um it's like 55,000 to 65,000 is average and then People at the top of their career tend to make about 104, it looks like. This is according to ZipRecruiter at this time. Is this something you think you might want to get back into? Probably not. Interesting. Okay. What do you want to do? Do you like what you're doing now? I do, but um, I really want to be, I mean, do something in the medical field. That's always been my Mm. passion. And I got, I mean, I started college with a nursing, um, you know, I wanted to pursue nursing. But That's then, why the loans are so high. Yeah, and then Nursing I realized that loans. I couldn't do vomit, so <laughs> I got out of that real quick. <laughs> yeah, well, that's fair. So yeah. I, I've been thinking, you know, maybe doing like, um, I don't know, x-ray tech of some sort. Yeah. Because I feel like I wouldn't have to deal with vomit in now, that do you have to, I Now, I don't know what's required for x-ray tech. Do you have to uh, go get a degree in that? Yeah, you got to gotta get a degree or a certification for it. You, you can get certified? No yeah, degree? Yeah. In work? Yeah. That might be something worth considering. Okay, very cool. Now, you. Your job and income situation, you're making less than her. And you're working a lot of hours. What do you want to do? Um, been asking myself that question for a long time. Um, Have you taken any quizzes? No. Take some quizzes. Uh, yeah. So you prefer the delivery job over the Amazon job? Well, that's also kind of a means because okay. uh, I would want to become a manager, but manager the, the dr- uh, in in the Domino's okay uh, company. But right now the the driver money is just something easy. The responsibility is less on my stress levels, a little less working both of the jobs. Dude, I love delivering uh, food when I was in college. So chilly, just put on a podcast or music, just going around collecting those monies. Yeah. Wearing turn on your car, not as fun. Winter time, not as fun, but that's less of a thing down here anyway. Sorry, I interrupted you, go ahead. But uh, the ultimate goal is that, I'm in a I'm in a position where I have kind of a line of mentors right now, uh, store manager wise, and then supervisor wise, which is like an area manager, and then eventually becoming a franchise owner. Oh, sick! So that's what I want to get That'd into. That'd be very cool. And I'm in probably the best domino situation I could be with that franchise uh, in particular. They've numerous accolades. Eric, my boss store manager of the year for the company 
um, and same for the supervisor and the franchise owner. So mm -hmm. once all this is taken care of, then I, I want to focus on that solely. I just don't want to upset anybody by working too much and then kind of messing that up. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. I like Domino's, especially after they improved their stuff, you know, what, a decade ago? Yeah. They're from Michigan, so I definitely like them. Yeah. I used to go to the original Domino's in Ypsilanti. Right. That was pretty cool. Uh, okay. That's awesome. So that would be great. That, that's a great long-term plan. And then uh, I also like your plan as well, if we can look into some certifications and stuff there. So that's great. For now... Let's get out of this day and get an emergency fund. Let's put a plan together, yeah? Yes, please. Okay. So let's get your budget together. What is... Oh, I'm sorry. To, to finish answering your question, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, at this particular time, my budget was simple. It was like groceries, debt. So everything else... I mean, there's no fun. I know you saw the Starbucks and that, mm -hmm. but... I don't, I love Starbucks, but I haven't been to Starbucks in like. Well, until we so got long. to the bullshit Amazon spending, your guys' fun money wasn't actually that crazy. So I think you guys are in a great start. Now I'm just, now let's just take it to an even better place. I'm guessing after taxes and everything, Hazel is bringing in about 9500 Are you guys right. taking your mini, your contributions that are matched? For 401ks. Um, so, and, uh, and and this is why I, I want your opinion versus, uh -huh. you know, you know, the other side, the, okay. the DR side. Um, yeah. So with his advice, it was um, stop contributing mm -hmm. and focus on the debt. Mm -hmm. So I actually am still enrolled with Amazon for my 401k mm -hmm. and they match 4%, but I stopped that to mm -hmm. focus on the debt. So, I mean, here's my logic on this and check my logic. Absolutely. Anyone check my logic. But, uh, so yeah, Dave Ramsey says that, and he says like the logic behind it is because, well, not to like muddy up the system and just fully focusing on putting the debt. Well, with 401k contributions, it's pre- it's pre the money that hits your account. So it's not like it's taking focus off of anything. It's not something you're even thinking about. And if we're looking at the worst interest rate in here, which is 30%, the 100% match that you're getting is a 100% return on your investment. That's a 70% difference. So mathematically, it's a win to take the, the match. So it's at least, and then it's compounding for you in the marketplace as well while you're going through the debt. But at the same time, the emotional side of the argument, it would make sense if you were sitting here every month and the check was coming in kind of the way he envisions it based on the way he talks about it. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, but I'm going to set this much aside for my 401k and get some match and then I'm going to set this much aside for the debt. That's not how it works. It's just immediately taken away without you thinking about it. You yeah. probably, you don't think about it mm -hmm. except for the one time you set it up. And it's gone. So it's not you actively making a choice on a monthly basis to do something and it taking away from your emotional decisions of taking on the debt. Mm -hmm. What matters is net. Okay, we have net. Now yeah. what do we do with net? So that's where my logic is on that. So I would take the money because it's 100% return on your money. Yeah. You don't get 100% return on your money but anywhere else unless you made an insane, crazy, like, gamble. Yeah. Yeah, Domino's also offers it in enrollments in January, um, and I was I was thinking of switching because I think they match the same the four percent. Yeah. So I would always I say just match. I just wouldn't go and, over the match. Yeah. Okay. So just. So should we do it for both jobs or just one? I would do it for all matches you can get. Yeah. And she asked if uh, if you couldn't hear if she if they should do it for all jobs or just one. But yeah, I would do it for any match you can get. So nine thousand five hundred. Is what I'm guessing comes in. So could I have a 401k for both Amazon and Dominance? That's what I was asking. Oh, I see what you're asking. Ooh, interesting. I bet. So my understanding. I'm gonna. I'm gonna check myself on this. I'm gonna fact check myself real quick before I, before I get what I think it is. Because I think. I mean, you just there's the match. The max you can do will be. You know, you have the max no matter what. But yeah. it's not like you can hit the max at both places. But I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna fact check. Yeah, because I know with um, with a Roth IRA, it's it's a hard cap, right? It's like what the sixty five hundred, sixty five thousand right now, or, yeah. or sixty five hundred. I wish it was a year. 000. Yeah. Yep. Max of four hundred one k retirement plan at once. I'm guessing it's just whatever that max is for the four hundred one k, and I don't remember that number off the top of my head. I can look that up as well. But this is like the max you can contribute across the board. I think you can contribute. 
two 401ks at the same time. You can treat contributions to an individual 401k as a non-elective employer contribution. So even if you're contributed the $18,000 maximum to an employer 401k, you can still contribute up to 53000 to your individual. Uh, well, that's not what we're asking. Yeah, so the IRS contribution limit for the traditional 401k is, you know, across any kind of 401 uh, any any of the 401ks that you guys have at your jobs. So, yeah, you can just, you can hit that 18, but across both. Gotcha. So you can't do 18 at both. So okay, eight, so it has to add combined, up to, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. yeah, sorry if that was a little confusing, but that's what I assumed. So it wouldn't make sense to do both jobs then, which is. Well, I would definitely take the match of both jobs because, again, that's 100% return. Mm-hmm. That's just more money. Nine thousand five hundred. That's what I'm guessing. It comes in a month. What is your rent? Because we do not own right now. What's the rent for the household? This is a household budget, by the way. Um, this is a sensitive topic, I think, uh, because December the literally December thirty first is the end of our lease at our apartment. Mm-hmm. We're wanting to get into a house. Mm-hmm. Um, I say uh, th- there were some circumstances where we definitely wanted to leave our our apartment. That person has moved out now, and okay. I would like to a bad go neighbor. On. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but they they have officially moved out. Good. And uh, everything is kind of cool. And I thought that we should do one last lease while we know our. What's the know, rent? Sixteen hundred. That's a good rent. Kind of, well, I mean, for and a two bedroom, I'm assuming. No, it's a one bedroom oh, with okay. a den. Yeah, that's him. Okay. And you were going to go to like a two thousand dollar house, something like that. Well, Louisville is if prime. We rented it, you know, we weren't real estate worried about. You know, we just wanted to get away from all. Oh, we just wanted to get away from all of that. So, we, but it's gone. Yeah, he's gone now. But you know, I kind of burned down our kitchen, and so I don't even want to live there anymore. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to pay for this that. Is this is the thing with her. <laughs> Okay. I know. Well, sixteen hundred is the rent. We we can address that topic in a bit, but okay. Utilities, uh, internet, electric, utilities, uh, just so, gas. Oh, I'm sorry. Trash. The sixteen hundred includes utilities, trash, and all that stuff. So internet? that's actually not internet. How much is internet? How much is it? Seventy. Ooh, a little bookie. Yeah, I wasn't sure if so we. So internet is seventy dollars and thirty six cents. And then our cell phones, one thirty nine twenty one. Both of those were at Spectrum. Um, okay. What else you need? That's it. Uh, that's what I need for now. Car insurances for both. Uh, currently, that's two twenty. For both. Uh, for both, yeah. Okay, nice. Food, six hundred. Yeah, I'm about to bring that down because I I don't need three hundred dollars worth. I can do. I can do just fine with less. Food, 500. Total paper spending. This is everything you need for the household. This includes basic makeup and everything like that. We have $150. I don't wear household. makeup. Huh? I don't wear makeup. How would you spend so much money at makeup places? I'm so confused now. I was I'm with extra my mom. Confused. Oh, nails. Okay, well, this includes... She does her own nails, actually. Okay, this includes doing your own nails. This includes everything for the household. Just taking care of yourself. Clothes shopping, 150 bucks a month is what we're doing right now. Yeah, we like like actual toilet paper stuff. We shop at Sam's, so... We bulk we, yeah. yeah, we bulk it out. Okay, and then your debt minimum monthly payments kill me now. $2,438, because those student loans are kicking in any moment. Which, by the way, is just like working one of the jobs. You guys are working just, it doesn't even, your pizza job doesn't even cover it. It covers like half of that almost. So, yeah, no, it's brutal. You're working your Amazon, you're working your Amazon job just to make minimum monthly payments on the debt. That's what it covers after taxes, mm. if even. Okay. This is including her uh, cumulative. Everything. All the household debt. Both yeah. y'all's debts are y'all's debts. Yeah. So, what else do we have in the budget? Any other minimum monthly payments? And oh, the like book that oh no. no subscriptions are canceled. Um, you do not need a Spotify. You do not. You work from home, watch music on YouTube or listen to ads. I don't care. I what I will that. allow in total for the household. Is that okay to keep in the video? What you just said? Uh yeah yeah okay. yeah. I uh, just want to make sure. 
What I will allow for the household is $40 a month in subscriptions. You guys break that down and determine where that goes. Yeah, my YouTube's going to be 13 apparently. Okay. Anything else in the budget? Gas. How much are we spending on gas a month as a household, both combined? He spends more, more yeah, on Yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. but it, like, it not comes included, out of my mileage. Not including that one, but just gas in general. So if you take away from work, what do we What do we just want to budget in for gas? Um, well, you don't I fill up like once a month, and that's like maybe $40. Dollars. Yeah, and if I'm and if I'm not working at all, I don't I don't really travel anywhere. So I mean, super minimal. So how much should we do for gas on a monthly basis? Outside of work, for me, you do about like a hundred dollars a month. Do you want me to include the work stuff? No, no, because yeah, oh, okay. I don't I, I don't mean, really okay. drive anywhere. Yeah, probably like. One tank. <laughs> yeah, just do like twenty dollars because okay. I mean we twenty dollars across the board. Yeah, but we don't drive anywhere ever. Like I mean, I go to work and I come back. Okay, home. Like if I drive anywhere, I go to my parents' house in Arlington, and that's like a fourth of tank. That's, Super minimal, yeah. and you only go okay. there like what every. Anything once else three you guys weeks. need to survive? Anything else in your guys' budget? No, we're pretty simple. All right, so what's needed in order to survive on a minimum monthly basis for the household? It's $5,178.26, half of that of which is going to minimum monthly payments and debt. So imagine what life is like without it. That's why we don't spend money right now, to be clear, is because that's insane. So right now your needs is more than 50%, nearing 60%. And that's with you both working 80 hours a week. So, like, that's crazy. This is why we just go, this is why we go crazy right now to get rid of the debts immediately. That way, you don't have to do this anymore. I bet you'd have more fun working 40 hours a week than you do spending on Amazon right now, working 80 hours a week. So, let's get there quicker, is what I say. Absolutely. $9,500 minus $5,178. We have $4,322 left on a monthly basis. Lovely. Okay. So of that, can, we had, what was total saved up in savings across everything? Um, First of all, we're, we're joint checking. Everything's going into joint checking. We're not spending on credit cards anymore. There's not a single cent that is spent on credit cards. I don't care about bills. It's coming out of the joint checking. And we are budgeting using whatever method you guys want to use. Everything is in a joint checking now, and it's no longer an option. Okay, cool. So what's in savings across the board? Because that's all going into one account as well. Uh, savings, I mean, our our joint emergency fund was the... 500 i think it's 535 right now okay perfect first month 4322 that's putting in the savings boom we have a one month emergency fund with the 500 dollars that's in there you guys will survive for a month if something wrong happens because what i don't want you to do is have that one thousand dollars and then be like a couple people who've been on the show they did the one thousand dollars to try to get out of debt and then something bad happened and of course every emergency in the world is over a thousand dollars and then they ended up being in a worse situation where than where they were before they saved up that a thousand dollars it doesn't make sense it's 2023 i know he said the explanation it still doesn't make sense mathematically and people end up in worse situations than they were before okay so four thousand three hundred twenty two dollars is left over. You have the one month emergency fund because the five hundred dollars was put towards that a little bit in month number two as well, uh, just to get to the five thousand one hundred seventy eight dollars twenty six cents you need to survive. Now you have about four thousand dollars left in the second month because you put that three hundred dollars twenty two dollars towards the emergency fund. Cool. It's month number two. Congratulations, month number two. We've completely paid off the Bezos card. It's gone. It no longer exists. We're chopping it up and we're never spending on it again because it's giving you a reason to spend on it because you have it. And we're paying, and then we're putting the other 2000 ish dollars, $2,500 towards FNBO. Cool. Month number three, $1,000 FNBO. It's gone. We have $2,500 left, $2,300 left putting that towards Navy Federal Credit Union. Cool, no, month number five, same thing. Finishing Navy Federal Credit Union, putting the other $2,500 towards 
to the Discovery. And then the month after that, we're putting everything towards Discovery. And what are we in, month number seven, month number eight? We're putting just a little bit towards Discovery. Discovery is paid off. So we're eight months in. Now we're looking at month number nine. At that point, we're getting into the larger balance type things. What we have left is Toyota 31,000. I want to take a brief moment to thank today's sponsor, Course Careers. If you want to start a high paying career in the technologies industry, but you don't have the experience or the degree, Course Careers is here to help. The replacing college is the modern way people are starting careers, and it's so simple. All you need to do is go through an affordable online course where you learn everything required to actually do the job. Then they help you land a position by partnering with companies who drop their degree and experience requirements to hire course careers graduates into entry-level positions and internships. Check out some of their stories of people like Nyla who went from being a 19-year-old Starbucks barista to making over $60,000 in a remote technology sales career. Or Josh who went from being a college dropout working in retail to making $140,000 just six months after completing course careers. So go to CourseCareers.com, which is linked in the description below, to sign up for the free introduction course where you'll learn exactly how you can start a high-paying technology career without a degree or previous experience. And make sure to use the code HAMMER50 to get $50 off on the full course, and all of this is linked in the description below. Thank you again to Course Careers for sponsoring this episode. Navy Federal of 11000 student loans, and the other car. So, yep. Month number nine, Navy Federal, that's what's left. Now, we're going to have about $4,500 left because minimum monthly payments are going down. It's lovely. Mm -hmm. So 11000 call it $11,000 at that time is out on Navy Federal. Divide that by the 4500 you probably have. That'll be two and a half months gone. Yeah. So let's just round it up at this point. Just say anything happens, it's a year. It's a year. FNBO is gone. Navy Federal is gone. Uh, the other Navy Federal is gone as well. The Discover is gone. And Jeff Bezos' card is gone. <laughs> Lovely. Now, the next largest debt we have is your car. We can keep that car. That's fine. But ooh, with the minimum monthly payments, we're getting money to play. We, we have extra. I don't want to say play because I don't want. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I know what you crazy. Mean. But we I have money we can meant. start using to start putting towards this debt. We're dividing that $16,000. It's probably going to be like 15000 mm, It'll probably be at like $12,000 at that time is mm -hmm. what's owed on there. Divide that by the 4750 ish you should have left on a monthly basis now. That's done in two and a half two months. months yeah. Two and a half months. That's crazy. So we're like a year and a quarter in now. The car is gone. What you can do is sell. You can do this from the beginning. Yeah. Is sell your car. And this is what I would suggest today. Sell your car. Pay off the loan and borrow what's needed from what's left over on a personal loan because your credit score is not it's like in the mid 700s right or low 700s yeah at, from what i saw i really don't know because i'm looking at like credit karma and then capital ones and it's like 630 to 680 so i, I don't oh. really know okay well what i would do is sell your car and then Pay it off with what you get. Then what's ever left over, borrow the difference between that and ten thousand dollars, and you're going to borrow with that like eight, ten percent personal loan type thing. Go and get a ten thousand dollar car. Get it certified by a mechanic that it is okay. It will be safe. That you'll be able to drive it for years to come. And crazy expenses, unexpected expenses, shouldn't come up if you're taking care of it for a few years to come at least, like two, three years. Cool. Then at that point potentially before your car, you're paying that off in about two and a half months because that should be a lower uh, balance owed. Mm -hmm. So all that's left in a year and a half at that point is the student loans. Student loans, about half are high interest. So we're going to call it $25,000. If we can attack these uh, individually, we're dividing that by what should be $5,250 a month now that's paid off in about five months. So in almost two years, you are out of every single bad debt. Two years. You're not giving me a happy face. Two years should be great. Two years is better than so many people on the show. What are your thoughts right now? I need to know what's going through your head. Because I'm seeing like, I'm going to attack you face. <laughs> 
Oh, come on. Is, no, this, this, you got to pry it. Yeah. You got to tell me this. what's going on or else we're not going to make progress. I'm not happy. <laughs> it's a lot. I know it's a lot. Yeah. And the emotions you are showing right now is the most natural reaction you could have to this. And I sympathize with it more than you could possibly imagine. I was in a situation, you know, very similar. High student loans, you know, very bad credit card debt, very bad car debt, and terrible private student loans with Sally Mae. So I can, I relate to this more than you could possibly know. And I didn't think there was any hope. Here's the exciting part. Though two years feels like so long in the moment, so long, what's going to be so awesome is you're 32 at that point. With where life is in modern day medicine, and you look like a healthy person, you both look healthy, you're not even halfway through your life yet. You get the second half, second two thirds of your life maybe, to just live incredible life together where you guys have the chance to retire, where you guys have the chance to travel, where you get to spend more time with your family who you've talked about. You know, as parents and everyone age, you get to spend more time with them in their later years. That's awesome. The kids that potentially come, they don't see mom and dad get in money fights, which is the biggest common threat of divorce in this country. They don't see that. You guys don't have those conversations because that's not something you have to worry about because you dealt with it now. You, they get a paid-for college. They, when you two are retiring, when their parents are retiring, they don't even have to have any, they don't even have to worry about you guys financially because you buckled down now and took care of yourselves for the future. The two years right now feels long. It feels, it feels so long. But just look where you were two years ago. Probably feels like that time has flown. Yeah. I look where I was a year ago when I started this thing, and I feel like that was yesterday. Two years from now, it will feel like nothing. And you'll be so proud of yourself. Now, this is what I will allow, if not encourage. One... Maybe throw in this budget some mental health care. Take advantage of some health insurance. Get some therapy. Walk through this. Maybe couples therapy. That might be the best. Couples therapy. Maybe every other week. Something like that. Totally worth it in this budget. And not not because you're crying. It is not because of that. To just be very clear to anyone in the audience who might be seeing it. But just because I know working 80 hours a week for this long is going to be so hard. Maybe we budget just an extra $100 a month. $100 a month, you guys go out to eat, go with the family, you know, put it where you guys want, $100, $150. As long as it's in the budget and we're not going overboard because where I get a little nervous is, okay, we allow ourselves some flexibility there, then we just go a little overboard, and that's not what I want. But we put that in there for survival, and maybe that stretches this to two years and a quarter, two and a half years, but I would rather have a 90% chance of doing it in two and a half years and you have an extra $150 towards fun than having only a 40% chance of completing this in two years, you know? So budget in what you feel is necessary. The main goal of me putting you on a tight budget is to get you out of this as quick as possible and give you as much money as you can. In the end, it's still your choice. It's your budget. So... Just knowing what I know and being in a similar position previously and being where I am now where I worked to get out of it well before I started this YouTube channel and, you know, before I started getting into real estate and stuff like that as well, I just know how much better it is on the other side and just putting all the money I made from my sales job towards paying off debt. It's so good on the other side. Yeah. It's so worth it. And it'll be so good for your marriage. So good for your future. So I get it. I get the emotions. I get it. I really do. I promise you'll just be all smiling, jumping, dancing, doing whatever you do when you celebrate when you're on the other side of this. And it'll be so good. Oh, yeah. There will be plenty of that. Yeah. Whatever your guys' thing is. Do it every day. <laughs> every week. <laughs> 
because you, because, well, another thing worth considering that also just gets out of the situation quicker, just looking for other jobs. If we can, if we can get even, even close to that $80,000 a year by starting a career in a field that you want via that certification, a good, again, I'm okay with this situation taking a little longer if we get a certification and obviously that takes some money and then time to get into a career like the, um, the, the, x-ray tech position i'm totally cool with that uh, this is just the situation if we stick in the if we if we have a restrictive budget now based on the income we have now there are different ways to go about this so maybe that's a position that you start seeking and all of a sudden maybe you work 40 hours a week and you make this much like that's awesome or maybe in order to make this much you're working the x-ray tech position you only have to work an extra 10 15 hours somewhere else like there's so many options out there. There's so many. So it's tough. I get it. No one is judging you for those emotions. That is the most normal thing that could possibly happen when this situation is laid in front of them. And I respect the f out of you guys. Even though I dug into you a bit, I respect you guys like crazy for coming on here, putting your situation in display. Because not only are you taking the steps in order to help yourself, you're helping thousands, maybe tens of thousands of couples out there who are watching this. And, you know, either they're in the same situation as you, worse situation, or they might be headed in the same situation. You guys are helping them, so thank you. But this is a potential plan. This is a plan that I would do, and I only give the plan that I would do, but that's just because I know what it's like in your position, not the married situation, because I can't even get a match on Hinge to save my life. My goodness. Uh, but uh, I know what it's like to be in the debt situation on an individual basis. And I know what it's like on the other side. So this is the plan that I would follow, but there's obviously a couple different avenues we can go. Just don't think because there's other avenues that you guys can just get lax. I would not do the Amazon the way you're doing it now. I would not. We're combining everything. We're having to combine household income. And yeah, I think, I think that's what I would do now. Do you guys have any final thoughts or anything else you wanted to talk about? Uh, Selling the car um, because it has a loan on it. Uh, could you explain that just like a little bit slower? <laughs> what do you think you could get for it if you saw it now? We didn't check the value, but it yeah. sounds like you probably have. I, I, I think it's pretty much dead even now. Dead even? Yeah. So I'd probably sell it, take the money you got from there, pay it off. What you can do, this is because okay. yeah, like I, I'm not I encouraging even. this in any way whatsoever. But you could private sale for a thousand dollars and barely pay any taxes on it. Uh, just yeah. I I would never do that. Yeah. Never do that. <laughs> this is okay. So essentially, sell it if you can. You sell it for where you can at least take the money that you have and completely pay off the loan. Like put it on Auto Trader. Is that like something like I? Just throw Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, take some good pictures of it. Make sure it's in good condition, stuff like that. Yeah, it's in pretty good condition. Okay, perfect. Then that's what I would do. If you can do it. If you can't, then we're putting this in the snowball method, which is what you guys are following. Okay. And uh, completely uh, pay, pay it off. Uh, probably after the bad student loans. It's probably the last thing. Then, by the way, after this, uh, it's long down the road and we can have that conversation in a follow-up episode or whatever. Yes. But you're doing 25% minimum each towards retirement. 25% minimum, maybe close to 30% just to play catch up a bit. Yeah. And then you can have like 20% towards fun and 50% towards needs. Cut down on your needs if you want to have more fun, but minimum 30% on retirement. But sorry. Yes. So you sell it, use that money, pay off the car, and then you borrow like $10,000 to go get a car. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because she'll she'll need like something to uh, just get around if she needs the emergency. Because I'm I mean I'm using the car, so it's always not at the house. Do you have any final thoughts? Um, if I could address the crowd, uh, debt is dumb, and if you don't have any debt, don't don't do it. Because, uh, like I may have said already, we kind of were in a situation where we didn't have debt. We got through it, okay. and um, it, it's just it's just not worth it. Just spending on a credit card aimlessly, um, and I think we can definitely do this. We've already been in a good stride, and you know we'll 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 grind it out together. I mean, we're, we've always been a good team, you know, for the most part. So I I think we can definitely work with that.
All right, for the Ariel and David household, it was a tough conversation and there's tough decisions that need to happen now, tough conversations, and I really think they can get through it. And if they buckle down now, that two years will fly by for the great future that they're going to have. For the household, Hammer Financial Score, spending in a budget, they weren't going crazy. Yes, there was too much on that Amazon card, so it can't be a good score, but it wasn't insane. Three out of ten. Debt, that's... Bad <laughs> zero out of ten retirement just getting started can't give it a higher than one out of ten emergency fund just getting started can't give it a higher than one out of ten real estate not even part of the conversation zero out of ten hammer financial score for them right now is a household one out of ten Check out all the resources I have linked in the description below. I have some paid affiliate links there. They are either resources that I do use right now, like the SoFi High Yield Savings Account, where you can get bonuses up to $250 for signing up, or putting in $5,000 in Acorns, where you get $5 for free, and other resources that I would use as well. And don't forget to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Thanks.